Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Archie. Where are we today? We're at Swindon. What are we going to do? We're going to go to see Swindon Steam Museum. Let's try that, yeah. Yeah. We just travelled on that nice mm. 802. Yeah. 802-001. Mm. <laughs> Quite interactive, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of sounds going on. Yeah. I like it though. I like the sign of the way they're laid out. Yeah. <laughs> This over here is a partially deconstructed class 42 XX. Is it? Yes. I wouldn't have recognised that at all. Uh, no, I only recognised it because it had the number plate just behind it. Ah, <laughs> right. Yeah, these were quite prominent freight locomotives for the GWR. Okay. It's funny seeing it in bits. Yeah. Yeah. What's this, Arch? Uh, this is a castle class in Great Western Green. Yeah. Funnily enough, a couple of days ago, Didcot just finished restoring one of these in working order, named Pendennis Castle. Oh, right. But this one says fastest loco in the world. Yeah. Was this a record breaker before Flying Scotsman? I'm not honestly sure. I was aware that there was a GWR City class that unofficially hit 100 miles an hour. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure they'll tell us. Yeah. But also, I quite like the fact that um, we can go and have a look underneath. No, you don't. Do you remember we got it in Japan? Yeah. That was the only time. I, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm liking this museum. Yeah, I am as well. Here we have a little bit of um, text about the local we just saw. And. Um, in July, 929 became the world's fastest train when it achieved the average speed 66.2 miles an hour. Mm. <laughs> and 1932, the Cheltenham Flyer smashed its own speed record, reaching an average of 81. Oh, okay. And that's this one here. Into the siding. Your next task is to pull the red lever marked siding signal one towards you. This shows the train driver that he is safe to reverse into the siding. This is great for Here's an amazing, uh, it's a replica of the North Star, one of the old um, broad gauge locos on the GWR. Yeah. Originally built by Robert Stevenson, later bought by GWR, yeah. and modified by the GWR to run on broad gauge. Mm. And if you're not lucky enough to have Archie with you telling you as you go along, they do have a lot of information around the side too. It's a brilliantly laid out museum, I must say. What have we got over here? Uh, a, Dean's Goods, a Dean's Goods 
We have the Dean's Goods locomotive here. Oh, okay. These were used by GWR and British Rail to for goods services. Right. Hence the name Dean Goods. That <laughs> makes some sense, doesn't it? But there's loads here. Yeah. Signal box. Crates and freight. 1994 Yeah. Do you know what? When I see these as little models, I, I get the idea they're really tiny. <laughs> as you can see from the figures around, it's massive. Batman actually released a model of this exact one. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, they probably scanned it here, didn't yeah. they? I like all the figures as well, it really brings it all to life. Yeah. And what's this guy here? We've got one of these, haven't we? Uh, yeah, it's a shunting wagon. It helps to put all the wagons in the correct order. Right. And the top little compartments for putting tools and stuff in. What's going on? Is anything running? Yeah, nothing running at the moment. Aha! Oh, great stuff. We've got a shunter racing here. Yep, a little light. And a 94XX. Actually, the exact same serial number as that one over there. It's Is that the Backman one you were talking about? Uh, no, that's an old Hornby model, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, of course. Hornby sponsored. What are we looking at behind you, Arch? Uh, this is a King Class in Great Western Green. Runs at Green. Beautiful, isn't it's it? Named King George V. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Cake such. <Yeah>. Mm. <laughs> I think what's even more amazing though is this here. What's this? Uh, it's a city class named City of Truro. And Truro, what's, yeah. What's special about this? is that this unofficially hit 100 miles an hour before the Flying Scotsman. Oh! They, it was only figured out after its run, going from Bristol to London Paddington, when they calculated the times and it was fi figured out to go over 100 miles an hour. <laughs> but because they didn't do an official test like the Flying Scotsman, they didn't get its title. Oh. Oh, here we are. Claim to be the first steam locomotive to reach over 100 miles an hour. Archie's right, of course. Nice, well, you can get to see inside them yeah. as well. It's funny the little painting saying max speed 60 miles an hour, bearing in mind this went over 100 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, of course. Early Thunder livery. Yeah. It's got the overhead lights logo. Oh, I see, yes. That's quite cool. Yeah, from a slightly later era. This is the first generation of those decals. Later in the 90s, they were changed to the modern style that we use today. Okay. Tons going on here, um, and just tons going on here. I'll say, yeah. and another railway diary. Yeah, it's Where are they hiding? Oh, uh, 
I'm filming rather than side of this. Trips to the beach on the train. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Ash? Absolutely amazing museum. <laughs> Had a brilliant selection of railway memorabilia, actual trains, and brilliant history. Yeah, loads of information and really well displayed. Mm. Highly recommended for yeah. a visit. Hello. Yeah.